Over the last century, the threat to human health posed by bacteria seemed to be coming to an end thanks to the use of antibiotics. Drugs with the seemingly miraculous power to stop bacteria. But what had been totally underestimated is that bacteria have a unique capacity to change, to evolve new characteristics, helping them survive in hostile environments. Because of this ability, bacteria can become resistant to the drugs, and they fight back. Among antibiotic-resistant bacteria, there is particular concern about those responsible for tuberculosis which mainly infect the lungs. Perceiving the problem of tuberculosis as far removed from our everyday lives would be a mistake. In fact, it recently turned up right on our doorstep in Basel. Here, in 2010, an apparently healthy 35-year-old man was walking around. He had just arrived in Switzerland from Tibet. But somewhere on his long journey, he had picked something up that was now multiplying in his body, a form of mycobacterium tuberculosis. When he was diagnosed with the illness, doctors realized that the bacteria that infected him were resistant to all of the currently used antibiotics. Thankfully, a new treatment was being developed and given the gravity of the case. The doctors decided to try it out as the last hope to treat the patient. In March 2013, after more than two years of treatment and a long hospitalization in this security room in a high altitude clinic in the Alps, he seemed to have defeated the disease. But a few months later, he fell ill again, and this time, the microbes had even developed resistance, the new drug. Once again, he received another experimental treatment. Almost incredibly, the bacteria also developed resistance to this drug. To decrease the level of infection, it was necessary to remove part of his lungs. Finally, in 2015, after almost five years of invasive treatments, he was declared cured. Sébastien Gagneux in Basel was unable to overlook this story. He leads a project financed by SystemsX.ch, which is focused on understanding the development of antibiotic resistance in mycobacterium tuberculosis. The scary story of this patient tells us something. Although today, the large majority of TB patients can usually be treated with standard treatment, these super-resistant bacteria can emerge even during the treatment of an individual patient. This puts lives at risk. In Switzerland, around 500 new tuberculosis cases are recorded every year. And worldwide, this number is more than 10 million, leading to 1.8 million deaths. It has been estimated that a further 2 billion people, that's almost a quarter of the planet's inhabitants, host the bacteria in their bodies. Also, the problem of drug resistance has been known for a long time. We still not fully understand how it actually works. To work with dangerous microbes, special precautions have to be taken. This is a biosecurity laboratory. Researchers are required to wear odd-looking overalls for protection. A pressure gradient between the lab and the outside assures that no air can get out of the laboratory. And every piece of clothing or object that has been inside must be treated at a very high temperature before eventually being taken out to be discarded. Here we study how bacteria evolve both in presence and absence of antibiotics. We also study how new resistance forms and evolves and what kind of substances the bacteria produce when they become resistant. 
Our final goal is to find a way of identifying these bacteria with the highest probability of becoming super resistant and highly transmissible. Ideally, this would allow us to prevent severe cases of tuberculosis like the patient from Tibet in the future. Knowledge is power in the war against pathogenic microbes as in any other enterprise. What is at stake is our ability to treat diseases that have the potential to kill millions.